What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to make a custom sorter. So let's say you had like an inventory with a bunch of different items with different rarities and you wanted to sort them alphabetically or by rarity. This custom sorting method would be the way to do that. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start off in Godot and I just have a main scene up here. I'm going to add a basic node. This node will be where I can put my script. So I'm just going to go up at the top and add a new script and right up at the top here we're going to make a variable this will be called inventory and it will basically be an array now inside of here we're going to manually add a bunch of items but in a real like game environment you obviously would not need to do this we're just adding these items as like a baseline test for how the sorter is going to work so each item will essentially be a dictionary the first key will be called name, and we will assign this to the name of the item, which is an apple. We're going to add a new key to this dictionary, which will be the item's rarity. And for now, we'll just set this to 1 for the apple. Make sure to add a comma at the end here. But we're going to copy this whole line, and we're going to insert a few of them in our inventory. And I'm going to rename these. We're going to have something like maybe a sword. Uh, we could have wood stone cloth a potion now we can adjust the rarity on all of these so a sword could be a rarity three wood could be one um, we'll make stone two actually as well as cloth and then our potion will be a rarity three just like the sword we'll delete the comma here let's create a ready function down here so we'll say function underscore ready and inside of here we will print our inventory and if we run the game you can see down here in our output it printed our inventory but it printed it in the exact order that we declared all of our items so this is obviously not sorted right because we have items with lower rarities before items with higher rarities and then they're kind of mixed in here so we basically have to fix that um, the first thing i want to do is we're going to write a basic line here so right at the top just to show you kind of how this works um, the first step will be printing our unsorted inventory we're going to print a line to separate everything so that we know what we're looking at and we're just going to say unsorted and then this will print our unsorted inventory and i'm actually going to put this in a for loop so that it prints everything vertically and it's easier to read this way so we're going to say for i in inventory so we're going to print i but we're actually going to go and get the name of this item and then we're going to add a little space here as a string and then we will print i except we will get the rarity so we'll go ahead and run the game and we can test this and down in the output you can see it prints our unsorted inventory and it prints all of our items in this column with all of the rarities in the second column. Now, after we print our unsorted inventory, we actually have to sort this. So in order to do that, we have to call the custom sort function on the inventory variable. So we write inventory dot sort custom. And inside of here, we have to pass in a callable. So we're actually gonna comment this out for now because we have to create this method. So down at the bottom here, we'll say, function sorts underscore by rarity and then inside of here for our arguments it will just be a and then b and we can start writing the code for this custom sorter so basically how a custom sorter will work it'll iterate through every item of the array and the first item that it's on will be instanced as a and then the next item it will be looking at will be instanced as b so basically you can run checks inside of this function to say like if a is smaller than b then you would return true and if you return true that means that the sorter will just keep everything as is it will keep the first item which is a in front of the second item which is b now if you return false it will place the second item which is b in front of the first item so it will basically insert that before it. So we can write inside of here, if we're just sorting by the rarity for now, we can say if A, which is the first item, and we get the rarity, and then we can check if the rarity is bigger than the rarity of item B. And if that rarity is bigger, then we're gonna return true. And if it isn't, then we're going to return false. And we don't need to say else here because 
it will kind of just inevitably return false um, after all of our checks. Now, in order to execute this sort, we just copy the name of the callable, place it inside of here. Actually, we're gonna uncomment this quick and then put it inside of our sort custom function. And then we can just copy this entire block of code up here and paste it under after we sorted our inventory. And then instead of printing unsorted, we're gonna print sorted and just print all the same items out and we'll see how it affects our output. So we go ahead and run the game and inside of the output tab, we have the unsorted inventory, which is all jumbled up. And then we have the sorted inventory, which places our higher rarity items at the top and descending it down to the lower rarity items towards the end of the list. So that all worked correctly, but let's say you wanted to go a step further and sort the entire inventory by its rarity, but inside of the rarity, you wanted to alphabetize the entire list. So the apple, starting with the letter A, would be in front of something like the wood. Now this logic is actually pretty straightforward to implement, so we'll just create a new sort function down here, and we'll say advanced sort. And then remember to put A and B as the arguments. And inside of here, we need to first check if the rarity is equal. So we'll say if A, and get the rarity, is equal to the rarity of B, then we're going to sort them alphabetically. And how we're gonna do that is just go to the name. So we'll say if A name is smaller than B name, then we're going to return true. And then otherwise we would return false, but we actually don't need to write the else statement here, right? Because it will just be at the end of our function, but we do need to put another check in here, which would be the L if statement. And it will get to here if the rarity of the items is different, and then it will end up sorting them by rarity, which is just this line up here. You could just retype this, otherwise I'm just gonna copy it and paste it here, which is L if the rarity of A is bigger than the rarity of B, then we also want to return true. Now at the end of the script, don't forget to return false. And this would be our more advanced sort, which is gonna sort by alphabetical inside of the rarity. And we're just gonna copy the name of this and replace our sort by rarity in the custom sort function with the advanced sort. And now if we run the game again, this will end up sorting everything as intended. And you can see that our potion is above our sword because the letter P comes before S in the alphabet, right? and um, everything makes sense logically. So this is a really basic way to sort like an inventory. Um, you could also use this to sort a quest list or something. If you wanted to optimize this more, or if you're using it in a bunch of different places, you can always create a class for your custom sorter or your custom sorters, and then just place all of these inside of the class and then just call the methods from the class that you've created. But that's gonna finish off this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, make sure to like and leave a comment and consider subscribing. Also, if you'd like to support my work, I just set up a Buy Me A Coffee page, which you can find in the description of this video. And I also set up a Discord server recently. So if you wanna join a pretty chill game development community, of like-minded people just go down to the link and join the server but again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one